I want to bring in another analogy. You know, I'm I'm a business owner. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a team, a big team to be able to run the program that I deliver. And so I've been taking a strategy course to help me think into the strategic ways I help the team get in the same goal, really going towards the same place. And one of the things I love about how this is being talked about is it's very functional through my lens of the realm of functional. And what it's telling us is that you actually design to think, you design to learn, you design to align. And that's what we're talking about. I'm using the word quote unquote design here, but we change a behavior to think and see, does this work for me? Does this not work for me? Is this attainable? We just, we take that step and then we're learning what changed and what didn't change. Where do I go from here? Because what I thought was the journey may not be the same journey. And then we're doing that to align with ourselves. Is this something I can get on board for as a forever thing, as a short-term thing? So that idea of doing to think, to learn, to align is part of that journey that we're on constantly as we're putting things in, taking things out and making movements. And like you said, you know, I I'm don't eat gluten. I don't even think about, like, I don't, it's not something where I go to a restaurant and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could, like, it's been so long, like tying our shoes. Like, I don't even, it doesn't even cross my mind. I don't eat refined sugar. If people are at the table having dessert, it doesn't even cross my mind to think, oh, I wish I could have a bite of like, not even part of my thinking. And I'm not feeling like I'm missing out on anything because I'm opting into the together experience instead of opting into the dessert experience, right? So yeah. there's, it just becomes part of second nature. Like you're talking about when we allow ourselves that time. 